we're here today to rescue a dog and take it to its forever home. Yeah, we have a very special dog named Cooper. Awesome, you wanna go adventure? All right, come on, let's go. I'm Jordan Kahana, and I'm super passionate about helping animals in need find forever homes. I was on a road trip uh, driving up to the Grand Canyon and these two black dots ran across the road and I had to swerve out of the way. I jumped out and lo and behold, it's two eight week old little puppies that I scoop up. Hey, look at you. It was pretty much a no brainer that I was gonna take them. I think they really changed the trajectory of my life and I love the open road and getting to search out and find organizations that you want to help, especially when it comes to giving back or advocacy. And I just learned about this organization, Compassion Without Borders. They rescue and rehabilitate dogs from Mexico and Central California. Head northwest. Compassion Without Borders was founded 17 years ago by Mancho and myself, and the purpose behind it was to bring brighter futures to animals in need on both sides of the border. So Welcome. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Jordan. Jordan. Welcome. Hi. We Welcome. have two rescue centers down in Mexico and then this one up here. Mancho and I and our son Diego drive down there. I do a final exam on the dogs, and then we load them up in our rescue van and make the two-day migration north, sometimes with as many as 65 dogs in the van with us. The animals that we're rescuing are coming from really tough areas. We intake them, vaccinate them, bathe them, shave them, like I just do whatever they need. And Cooper wasn't one of them. He was really matted, like in poor shape, and uh, really skinny. We transferred him to our rescue house around two months. He's gonna be going home with Emma and Andrew. Emma found him online and she got lucky. And so did he. Yeah, and so did he. What drew us to Cooper was pretty much just his personality. He was really fun-loving, um, really active. He wasn't too shy. When I saw that smile, I just had this instant connection to the dog. And there's so many dogs out there that have been rescued that need a home. The fact that we could rescue one and contribute to a good cause, that kind of put the, the icing on the cake for us. Although our reach has broadened and the scope of what we're trying to change seems to grow constantly, mm -hmm. it does always kind of narrow back to that individual animal. They go into these adopted homes. We have so many stories of people who say the dogs literally saved their lives. Ready to go home, guys? Oh, what are you doing, man. sweetheart? Final step of your journey, man. If you change that life, it's going to change the life of many. Come here, bud. OK. Good job. It's a big event. Like, I just, they're bringing a new member of their family, right? They were really patient with us. They set up a couple meetings to let us get to know Cooper. We wanted to make sure he was the perfect match. Yeah, let's go. We're going home. Yeah, come on. Who is that? Hi. Hi. This is hey, Cooper. Cooper. Hey, bud. Hi. Oh my gosh, yeah. he's so cute. He's beautiful, and I just felt like I'd see that smile every day and it would brighten my day up. I brought what? you uh, some dog food and toys to help you get situated. Thank you Perfect. so much. That'd be great. I rescued my last dog from Mexico, so I just felt really good to be able to bring one home and give it a good life. I think one really amazing thing about this organization is seeing the ripple effect that compassion can have in people's lives. They really go on to be huge champions for the cause. Do you like the grass? He's gonna have a great time here. This is really awesome. I'd say even if you can't adopt an animal, the best way to give back is just go to your local animal shelter and see how you can volunteer. Even the smallest of contributions can make an ultimate difference. Whether it's being of service to these communities or the animals, there's really no better way to feel good about what we're doing in life.